and learn how to flash a blue red drive to be able to read ultra hd discs uh, i encourage you to read the guides from uh, teddy and sar to mary they have all the requirements there i'm going to go over the you know the simple ones with you but uh, you know you need one of the drives listed it doesn't work on just any blue ray drive we're not going to need the hex edit we're not going to need to boot into dos but your bios will need IDE mode, HCI, or RAID mode will not work. You also need a 32-bit Windows. It doesn't matter if it's a bootable one or not. I recommend you don't use that uh, trash meme bootable Windows that says Welcome to Julia. That's a pretty weird one. I'll link one down below, and as well as all this stuff. So let's just open DOS Flash here. So it's going to take a while to find your drive to just select read flash. Now it's going to be your original firmware. You need to dump your original firmware. You need to save it. Because if you don't, then you have no way to move the calibration data over to the new firmware. So we'll just save it. It takes a little bit to read. Not too long. And then you'll see why we don't need to hex edit or boot into DOS because we're going to open up a data mover tool that I believe is made by Sar to Mary or him and his friends. Alright, so that just finished. So now we're going to open the data mover tool. We're going to select the firmware that we just saved. So this is our original firmware. I'm going to click open. Now, most of you guys are going to get your firmware from in uh, here, the NS50 compatible firmware. So just match it up with your drive or cr cross flash it if you want it. But today, my customer wants 1.0 on his WH16 NS60. So I'm going to do that one. going to rename it here that I edited it. Right. Now that we got it saved, we're just going to go back to DOS Flash, change over to right. Put the one we just saved. It's going to take a little bit. It automatically erases and then it'll flash. This is all being done in real time. It's not sped up or anything. See how quick and easy this is. So you don't have to ask us, me and Marty, to edit your firmware for you. If you got it saved, you can do it yourself. And uh, the moderators like Woodstock don't like us taking up all their space on the forums. So it was successfully in zero read errors on this uh, Windows 32, not with that uh, other one that has a thousand. Welcome to Julia, trash meme, portable, bootable Windows. That thing is horrible. <laughs> so, so we'll just reopen it now, and we'll see. We went from 1.01, and now we're down to 1.0. For you, this might be different. You went for your ASUS 3.03 to. Uh, 3.01, 3.02, you know, LG 1.03 to 1.0, 1.02, whatever, you know? It's all good, and you can read those discs now. And for whatever reason, if you guys can't flash your drive, uh, I do offer that as a service. I uh, flash drive, sell them, you know? If you can't do it because you got a Mac, your new computer doesn't support a... Uh, you know, IDE mode or those damn OEMs just locking you out of the settings in the BIOS, because that's always fun. But yeah, I'll leave a link in the description.